One of the bigger announcements at WWDC was macOS Big Sur because this is a very major change and update to the operating system. It was actually a very minor detail that they pointed out that I didn't even pick up the first time around, but this is version 11 of macOS. All the previous versions of macOS have been version 10. macOS Catalina was 10.15, Mojave was 10.14, and kept going 13, 12, 11, and so on backwards. This is version 11, macOS 11.0. This is a very big update, and there's a lot of changes. Some of them are good, some of them I think are bad. I'm gonna go through some of the things you might notice in the operating system. We're gonna see if this is a good change, a bad change, and what I think of it. The reason why this warrants a big number change is because it is a very graphical overhaul. The look is very different. Even from OS 10 Yosemite, where we got the new flat design, this is even a bigger change than that. We are adopting much of the exact same things from iOS, and in fact, some of these stock Mac apps are being completely replaced by ported versions that are on iOS. For example, the Maps app is a version taken straight from iOS. They had a standalone Mac app for Maps before, but they got rid of that, and they completely replaced that with a ported version that's on the iPad. That's one thing you're gonna see in a lot of the apps is they are very similar to what you see on iOS. We got voice memos, Apple TV, Apple Music, Home, Maps, Podcasts, Books, everything is pretty much a direct copy of the iPad app. And in my opinion, it doesn't look that great. It seems just like a odd iPad is what you're using pretty much. Aside from iPad looking apps, we also get a major overhaul in the design of our icons. They all have the same oval bubble that you see on iOS and iPad OS. There is very little variety to the shapes. Some of them have a few pieces poking off the edge, but we have very similar round icons that you see on iOS. Again, this is bringing a lot more continuity between the two operating systems something that could be good, something that may not be as good. I'm not a fan of the shape. I do like that they are able to break past the edges of the icons, unlike iOS, but it doesn't look that great. Speaking of icons, we have some really weird ones. My least favorite has to be iMessage and FaceTime. Those look really weird. And I feel like we're going back into like the Mac OS lion and tiger days. These are very 3D, very bubbly looking. They seem not like something you expect on a Mac. Inside of System Preferences, we have very much the same type of thing. These are very detailed, intricate designs that have 3D looks to them and nothing like the previous flat looks of any of the past versions of Mac OS. I don't know. I am just really not a big fan of those icons. Let me know what you think. Just a quick note though, I posted this on Twitter, this battery icon inside the System Preferences app, it looks horrible, like straight off of Linux or something. A lot of these icons that we're seeing remind me of a very bad icon pack that you'd find on like Cydia if you jailbroke your iPhone. You're going for some comic bubble icons. That's what this looks like. Not everything is bad though. I do like Finder. It looks pretty nice and for most part, apps that aren't directly pulled from the iPad look really good. I like the new sidebar. I like the flatter look. If you already thought it was flat, this is even flatter and it looks pretty good. Safari is also pretty nice. It looks really nice and I do like the transparent background. It's not too different from before, but it is a nice upgrade and it looks pretty cool. I also really like the menu bar. Again, we have our transparent look. It was transparent before, but now it is much more transparent. There's a lot more breathing room between all of the items. So you have more room to pick stuff out and more text that can be displayed. And it looks pretty nice, very flat, very minimalist, but I do like the look of that. Aside from appearance, there's not a lot that's going to be different between Big Sur and Catalina. A lot of the changes is aesthetic and a lot of the changes is under the hood to support Apple's own processors. That's really why this is a major design change is because it's moving architectures from Intel to Apple Divine Silicon. We also got a little bit of design element changes, like a control center, like an iOS style notification center, like some comic bubble icons. 
Those things are changes that are outward facing, but really the thing that matters the most is the ARM-based support for this operating system. It could run on an iPad if you really thought about it. They're both running the same processor and they're both based off of the same architecture. So this is basically an iPad with a keyboard that looks slightly different. Let me know what you think about the icons and about the operating system itself. I really like some of the apps and I like the menus. I do not like the icons and I don't like how they ported a lot of the apps from the iPad. It doesn't look right. It looks like an iPad app for the most part. But other than that, I think it's pretty cool and I'm excited to see what we can get in the future with Apple's own processors for Macs. Anyway, that is all for this video. Let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions for anything else, let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark at Tech and I will see you in the next one.